Uh, thank you very much, uh, Lars Cancorla, and I want to thank all the deputies for the contributions they've made here to this very important debate. And uh, again, uh, reiterate my appreciation for the challenges that many are facing at the moment and the great challenges that they're facing as we see the rising cost of energy, the rising cost of fuel. And this is why the government has brought forward measures to aim to provide assistance to those who need it the most, accompanied by a, uh, the rebate uh, for energy bills that will be coming forward now in the coming weeks. I've listened to the Rural Independent Group this morning and the proposals they brought forward. I just have one question for you. How much do your measures cost? How much do they cost? So you how much do your measures budget cost? Minister, as you, you have a parliamentary know. budget office available to you. I'll repeat the question one more time. How much do your proposals you cost? You know the answer to that. The he, chair, he, he have the right to take in more. Now, now, Mr. Mcorla, given that the Rural Independent Group don't actually know the answer to this question, oh, we do. No, we're we bringing forward do. the proposal for a mini budget without any understanding of what the cost involved in this mini budget is. They're bringing forward these ideas with no conception or no acknowledgement at conception. all regarding the cost We have a conception of, of the people at the door. Well, well, let, me, let me, as I said, when opening up my statement, I did so anchored in an appreciation of the challenges that many face. But we have here in front of us a group who are bringing forward proposals with no sense at all and no reference to what the cost of those proposals are. So let me inform the Doyle roughly what they would be. Of course, we these figures the are available to the Rural Independent the Group, but of course they're not interested in checking them. So the overall value of the proposals that are being brought forward here by the Rural Independent Group are approximately €3 billion. Euro. Measures that they're bringing forward, no recognition of the cost, no recognition of the challenge that's involved in funding all of this, over €3 billion Euro worth of proposals here with no sense at all or no recognition regarding how it could be paid the for, how it could be funded. And of course, the, the consequence of all of this, this last town corner, is you five. just heap further difficulty on other people. Heap no. further difficulty no. by higher debt, further difficulty by bringing forward ideas that the Rural Independent Group have no idea of the cost of, no proposal how they will pay for it. In other countries, what all of this means, last count call, is we have a group in front of us here. You know, the only thing they're actually independent of is any credibility. The only thing they're independent <laughs> of you're looking in the mirror, any no, common sense yeah, 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 because they're bringing the forward yeah, proposals yeah, yeah, yet yeah. again with no recognition of how much they would cost. And because of that, they're devoid of credibility and empty in any sense of uh, recognition or credibility regarding what needs to be done to help those who are suffering the most. Of course, what was also absent, completely absent in the Rural Independent Group here today, is they never mentioned in any of their contributions that, of course, for those who are in the farming sector, who provide such a valuable contribution to our country, to our economy, to our society, they qualify for double income tax relief in relation to carbon taxing. Did you actually know that? Yes. Or did you just choose to ignore it? Did you know it? I suspect they actually either didn't know it or chose not to bring it up. But of course, of course, that's no surprise, given that in the motion they contain within it the claim that they know is wrong, but they still bring it forward. The claim that carbon tax is the key contributing factor to Ireland's cost of living increases. Wrong and wrong again. And what I think is telling and is hopeful is to hear other TDs here uh, have the courage to make the case for carbon taxing while acknowledging and they're making, you know, make the case they think it could be done differently. At least they're making that case. We have a group here bringing forward proposals with no idea how much they will cost, based on uh, ignoring the fact that there's already, through our tax code, relief in place for some of these costs. And in conclusion, um, in, in looking at the ideas and looking forward to hearing the response in a moment, to bring forward the idea for a mini-budget with no idea how much it will cost, no idea how it can be paid for, is actually not just only a lack of help, to those who need help the most, it's an insult to them. They're accompanied by a party here in Sinn Féin, which, having heard their contributions last night and again here this morning, I can only reach the conclusion that Sinn Féin either 
don't get the climate challenge, don't get the crisis, or they're choosing to be dishonest about it. I wouldn't, Ceann Corla, go as far yet to say that Sinn Féin are climate change deniers, but I would certainly say they're fundamentally dishonest about the choices and the difficulties that are involved in responding back to it. Again and again, we hear the claim that is brought forward here regarding that we can respond back to the climate crisis without difficult choices. We heard it from Sinn Féin. So many of their deputies, for example, say more needs to be done on the retrofitting programme, more detail needs to be brought forward, but they're against, Count Corla, the tax that is needed to help pay for it. They choose to ignore the advice from groups like the Climate Change Advisory Panel, from international economists and scientists, the majority view of which is, in order to change our use of carbon, we need to change the price of it. I know it's difficult, Ceann Corla. I know this is a choice that involves difficulty for many. But in tackling a climate crisis, to claim it can be done without choices regarding how carbon being taxed is, at best, dishonest. And it's a dishonesty that's repeated again and again by Sinn Féin. I'll end where I concluded, you, uh, Count Corla. I appreciate your discretion in allowing me to make this point. The Rural Independent Group bring forward proposals, no costing, no recognition of the challenge that is involved in responding back to the challenges that we acknowledge for real. For so many, the government is acting, we're responding back. You heard from Minister McConnell of the measures in relation to gloss the Beef Data Genomics Programme and the new measures that were announced by him today in, uh, in relation to supporting our pig farming sector. To hear the Rural Actually, Independent Group bring forward proposals here, as I said a moment ago, is it, it is um, at best uh, uh, disrespectful to the challenges, the needs that so many have, and at worst, to make claims here in relation to carbon tax and to bring forward proposals with no sense of how they can be paid for does little to serve the needs of those they claim to represent, creates the sense of easy solutions, easy solutions here, which in their proposal they have no honesty about how they can oh. be paid for and the challenges uh, that government faces and responding back to these challenges. We have acted. We have brought forward well, measures. We know USC. for many, you we know for many at the moment, Finnegan. last count caller, that prices Finnegan are going up, that costs are going up. We appreciate no, for Ken many Corla. that it is a challenge. But Nobody's this government has this acted respect. in us. We have brought forward measures that aim to make a difference between what we announced on Budget Day, between the measures that were brought forward. And Cut all the cap, so it means for somebody who is on, uh, the, uh, on social welfare, living alone, Six to eight hundred euro of extra support. It's taking year. our time, can't go on. It's for somebody who is on the standard rate of income tax. The people are getting between four to six hundred euro extra. You know, I can. And you're talking here. And these poor people suffering. Can Corla? I can well understand the behaviour of independent deputies over there as they are embarrassed by bringing forward a play here for money budget with no sense regarding how it will cost, no sense how it will pay. I, I hope those who they claim to be representing are looking in at this, are looking in at our behaviour, this behaviour, and recognise and can see the dishonesty involved in bringing forward these ideas, no. calling for a mini budget, and at no sense in their Hi. debate, at no Hi. moment Hi. in it, Hi. making Hi. any recognition Hi. of the cost Hi. and what's involved in it. So, for all of those reasons, uh, the government's putting forward this counter motion. We reject the attempts here by the rural independent to, the to pretend to that they the either truth. understand Please. the difficulties that many are facing. Are there efforts here to pretend that they have a solution to it? Thank you.